ask and ye shall receive so um i did a poll well first off i was requested to do a like above ground survival kind of base thing um you know because i do a lot of underground survival base kind of stuff i guess um so someone requested me to do this and then i did a poll on one of my posts and whether I should do this or do the part two of the underground, you know, bunker, mansion, thing, whatever it is. And more votes came to this. So here we are. And so basically, I'm just gonna jump into this. Um, so as you can see, there's a wall around the whole thing and it's not too big. I kind of opted for a smaller wall because I don't feel like having a big wall because it makes you feel like you're just trapped inside, I don't know but it's completely impenetrable from like outside mobs. Spiders can't get in here. Obviously nothing else besides them can get in. Um, if you're playing in one of the newer updates, like 1.14, the little, um, what, whatchamacallit, the little flying things that come out at night. I forgot, the, I forgot what they are, but like they're like the green glowing eyes, little bats thing. I mean, obviously those can like fly down, but I mean, you can go over and like hide in here or you can go down there or you can hide inside of any of here or just go inside so i mean it's not like you don't have places to go inside you can fight them off from your balcony right here so with that being said let me get back down here so you got this wall nothing can get inside i'll show you guys um a little later you know i'll test it out and show you but yeah so when you first walk in i figured you know you should have something kind of recreational so here's like a little campfire thing thought it was cool because you can actually cook stuff on this uh, so if you're playing on a server with friends or whatever, um, especially if you're on a server where they have the plugins where you can sit in chairs, you can just right click that, sit here and you know, just cook stuff. And you got some fish here. Um, and then starting off here, so this is the enchantment room, full enchantment room, um, pretty self-explanatory. You get plenty of enchantments, got two double chests for storage for books and enchanted stuff, whatnot. And then you have a horse table right here. And this is cool because this allows you to get in with a horse like obviously there's one entrance right here and it's only too high horses and stuff can't go through that so if you walk up right click your horse open up all these now you can just get out you know it's pretty pretty cool pretty cool it's like a docking kind of area so you get in here close all those get out come out there and there you go so it's kind of like a docking thing for horses pretty much and then also if you want to bring your horse out here you can just open both of these and he'll walk out and then over here is like a livestock thing you know you can bring your livestock in through here open up this gate right here and just kind of push them in and they won't get hurt it's one block fall don't worry and you got two chests right there for like livestock crops or like food and stuff and then so obviously over here you have a farm small little farm use it for whatever you want wheat uh, melons sugarcane like anything we can just use that as a sugarcane farm uh, but yeah so plenty of uh, farm space right here for at least like one or two people like plenty and then so down here I thought I would do a mine I know it's supposed to be above ground but you know can't mine above ground so here's some storage and stuff for like before you go down and then I just made it you know generally kind of deep and then down here and then nether portal right here obviously you don't gotta do this you can just keep going down and down till you hit a cave or you can stop here and just start strip mining or you can do what i did here and then just continue to mine it's a mine you know i'm not going to show you how to build a mine you all know how to do that but it's like an entryway to a mine you know so that we don't got to leave your base to go mining and stuff catching my drift so yeah that's pretty much all the outside so coming inside here, I opted for a balcony. You can shoot off this and look down at the rest of your build. Come inside here, super cozy little uh, little bedroom area. Got armor stand, anvil, crafting furnace, two double chests, two beds. Um, if you're playing with more than one person, that works out pretty well. Um, I put some villagers in here just to make it look lively, you know. And then a nice big window so you can look out. Come up here and you have all the blocks that came with the new update. So like the grindstone, the um whatchamacallit, the stone cutter, the blast furnace, um, what is this? The the smithing table, I think. And then that is the something, I forgot. <laughs> There's the loom and then the cartography table. 
So you got all the new blocks with the new update. So you got all that and crafting. And then over here you have like a brewing area, two brewing stands, two cauldrons, you know. And actually what you could do is make two brewing stands on this side, have one right there and then have one cauldron because one cauldron holds a decent amount of water. Um, so yeah, then you got a balcony on all four sides. This is like a nice little opening uh, so you can shoot out from your sides and stuff. Yeah, it's supposed to be a base, right? You gotta have defense. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm coming back down here. Bedroom, balcony, get there. Then it's just nice and open, you know. All right, so everything you see in my hot bar right here is everything you're gonna need to get the basic structure down. So if you can see over there, it's you know obviously mostly oak logs and oak planks. So um, and the wall is stair, fence, logs, and slabs, and some glass. So, let's go and get into this. So it's 18 by 18. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into, actually here. So three corners of it, we'll need a oak pillar. So let's just start, let's start right here. Right, right there. So yeah, take this one up, just take it up three, just, you know, because. And then just do this, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Take this one up three. And then we'll take this around. So it's 18 and then including this block. So one and then two, three, four, all the way take it to 18. Put a pillar on this one once you get over here. And then uh, that's a, that looks like about 18. And then uh, once you get to 18, make sure the corner block is a three block high. Uh, okay uh, me too uh, like I was saying once you get to the corner block make sure it's a three block high uh, oak log pillar and then count one and then two three all the way to get to 18 and then just keep this one a stair and then just go ahead and connect it back so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that and be right back all right guys so now we're going to fill in uh, the pillars um, kind of like over there see how there's like a bunch of pillars right there along the left side yeah we're gonna go ahead and fill those in so basically what you want to do is start over here from this corner this is like that bookshelf enchanting area so starting from this one right here go one two three blocks break that three high pillar and then one two three break that three high pillar and as you can see it's a three by three area right here and then same thing over here for that animal pen just go one two three break that block make a pillar three out break this fill it in and then connect your corner right here and then right here this is where the uh that's about the middle right there yeah so you're gonna come out two blocks break this three high pillar so then two blocks three high pillar and then come over here three high pillar three high pillar so it'll look something like this as you can see so this right here is three by three three spaces right there and there's two spaces two spaces three high pillars two spaces two spaces more pillars and then again two spaces two spaces three high pillars and then this corner is three by three right here just like that so now you're gonna want to find the middle of the build which looks to be about right there that looks like about the middle and then which is correct because there's three spaces over there so then you would come over here make that two right there yes because you're gonna have this is the the door opening obviously that's like where you come in right here so it's two spaces from this log right here and then a pillar two and then a pillar come over here do the exact same thing a pillar and then a pillar just like that which there's no opening right here it's that's the only entrance right there but right here I made it you know symmetrical just so that way it didn't hurt my eyes because I'm just very like I want to say um which my OCD like that but you know it just it looks appealing okay guys don't kill me all right I don't need to be castrated yet okay anyways next step the house so this big massive thing over here actually it's not that massive anyways 
Um, so as you can see, we have this opening right here. It's completely symmetrical. So this is the front door right here. If you come over to the other side where we like replicated this opening, this pillar right here is actually the edge of the house. I don't know if you can see all the way over there. But yeah, so this right here actually starts the edge of the house. So these come up one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then bring this one up to the same height. Right about there, yep. So there's the corner, one block, and then another pillar, which is also seven high. And then there's two spaces and then another pillar just like that so it's the corner one space seven high pillar two spaces seven high pillar one space seven high pillar and then you just replicate that on all sides as you can see i i just i make things extremely symmetrical makes it a lot easier to build and a lot easier to keep track with like if you're watching how to build whoops if you're watching how to build this it makes it 10,000 times easier so you're just gonna do this on all sides and then once you're done with that we'll go ahead and start on I would say the farm but I'm focusing on the house right now because the main point of this is the house I mean if you're gonna build this in survival you want to get the house done first you know because I mean days in Minecraft go by relatively fast so you want a place to sleep first with protection from mobs and all that crap so I mean let's go ahead and get this done so that's your uh that's your house and we're done so I'll see you guys in the next episode you what no I'm just kidding guys I'm not I'm not that shitty of a youtuber so anyways to continue uh really quick if you want to break out all these blocks right here like on the ground in between the pillars and just fill them in with oak wood or oak, oak logs not Oh, well, same thing you get what I'm talking about because whenever we uh, build the pathway right here it'll take out like a snow layer of the grass I guess in depth and you can see that and if it's dirt it doesn't look very good so optional but I would say do it put cobblestone wall right here right there right here and right here because inside of here is the farm you know so but yeah anyways continuing on the structure so you want to count up one, two, three, and then on the fourth block, we're going to have a pillar coming through all the way around like this. So go ahead and fill this in, you know, yada, 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 and boom. So, oh, don't forget that. So now that that's filled in, we're going to take these out like this. On every pillar, take out one block. And the corners, all the pillars, just like this and boom like that and then now take some buttons and for some like aesthetic depth i guess put them at the end of all these pillars i just think it looks nice adds kind of just adds like 3d effect you know and then underneath these right here put some upside down stairs except for right there because you know that'll make it weird on this side though do that all the way around like so and then also except for the front so yeah there we go there is our I guess first floor done and if you really want to go ahead and fill this in with oak planks because I mean you're gonna do that eventually so might as well get it in now while you have the, uh, the entire like surrounding pillars done and boom there's your first floor and to get up, obviously you need a way up. So fill this in with oak planks. And sorry, I would have this ready already, but I kind of play things by ear. So yeah, put your ladders right there. Get some trap doors of your choice. Put those right there. And you can actually take these buttons off because this will turn into the, the balcony thing in a second. But we're gonna continue on the structure. So it is three blocks high once again. So take all these up one more, which some of these, because this attaches to the roof, so some of these will not be the same height. Like these, I'm pretty sure these will be down by one, but it's okay. We're going to do this because it's the most simple way to like explain this, if that makes any sense. Okay, so three high. Do the same thing with your pillars again. Just connect them all like this. 
Ah ha ha! Okay, so I have no idea where we left off because last time I was recording this was like probably about a week ago. Um, but that's what happens when you have a life. Uh, you gotta do things. Um, so start with these one, two, three, four, five. Take these up one more. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, two more. And then bring these up by one and do that on every side. So that way from this uh, pillar, sideways pillar, the two middle pillars are up by six. And then these are one, two, three, four, five. So then bring these up to one, two, two. Okay, so that's pretty much done. And bring these out two more. So that now you have your kind of balcony thing for the front door. Two oak planks, two upside down stairs, two buttons, and then cobblestone wall. Finish. That's actually, what, the, what is that? Andesite, okay. Don't use andesite wall unless you have andesite. It's not that easy to get, so um, I guess let's replace it with a uh, cobblestone wall. Okay, so now we're gonna do the roof. Um, a lot of you are probably gonna get lost because it's really, it's honestly really weird. Um, so here we can start from, start from here. On each one of these, put a stair like that. This is honestly probably the easiest way to do it. Um, and then once you have all those on, take them out by one and then just bring it down. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, so do that on like every side and then we can, yeah, we'll figure it out from there. I, there's no real easy way to explain the roof. There never is. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and be right back. Okay, now that we have, <clears throat> now that we have all these done, uh, by the way, if you hear me like, like burping or like hiccuping or something um it's because of the gum that i have i'm not gonna get too into it because you probably don't want to hear about it but the gum that i have causes like the acid reflex shit so it's not exactly comfortable to chew so yeah just keep in mind if you hear any of that that's that's what it is it's the gum that i have anyways so once you have all these done right here break off those um one block oak pieces that we had in the corner and then in between each um in between each pillar right here where the stairs are connect it with two logs so on every side just like that and then go ahead and just fill the roof up to the top like that on all sides and actually now that i think about it this is a really easy way to do the roof i i did it well, all my builds, I kind of play it by ear. I never have a plan. I just start building and then see where, and then eventually whatever, it just turns out to be whatever it is. So when I was making the roof, it was just trial and error. Like I tried like a thousand different designs until I got this one. So, um, well anyways, so once you uh, fill this in, go ahead and start connecting it. Right, okay, what's, there we go. Start connecting it like this. And this is gonna be really boring to watch if I just kept doing this. So I'm just gonna finish the whole thing and be back in a second. Okay, so once you connect the roof, yes, I know, it doesn't connect right here. That's because it's a it's a very, it's an equal um, layout, I guess you could say, like the number of blocks. It's not odd numbered, so they don't connect right here, but we're gonna fix that, so don't worry about it. Uh, but yeah, so once you have it all connected, come underneath here and fix this crappy looking stuff. Put upside down stairs, you know, obviously that's kind of like the finishing touch on every roof. So, fill these in. Rider, right there. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're actually gonna take it, okay. We're gonna take it back down by one, right here, on all the corners. Like this. Connect it right where that thing used to be. And then there we go, there's a corner. So yeah, then do this on all four sides. If I could, yeah, this is a really tedious process. So, um, no, I'm not gonna skip. I only have two corners left. It, you guys can bear with me on that part. Um, Ryan, say something. Why? Okay. Sandwich. 
I just need some background noise while I do this so it's not weird. Okay, so roof is done. If you want to, just make it squared off like that. Connect the sides. You know, gangster stuff. Yeah, gangster shit. Yeah. Alright, so now that we have that squared off, you're going to want to come here. And on uh, the intersections where the logs are right here, place an upside down stair. Just like that. And actually, you can place some here too. And if that looks too weird for you, then just take those off. I like it like this better. I don't really know why, but I do. So it's up to you, square it off or take off the slabs. I'm gonna take them off. I just wanted to show you guys. So yeah, on every intersection and the corners like this, put upside down stairs. So get that out of my face. These two, that corner, take that out, that corner. And then now take your slabs, bring them all the way across on every single side. Ryan, you gonna say anything? Oh yeah, pixel car racer. Okay, now I already have it. Okay, so fence right there, right there, connect it. And then do this on all sides. Basically just fill the whole slab thing in with fence. Okay, there we go. So now we have every single floor and then right here. Okay, I'm gonna switch this out with cobblestone wall because this is throwing me off. Okay, there we go. So on every like the two middle pillars of the house put two cobblestone wall all the way up and down every single side except for well I mean you could put it here but it would look weird because you're gonna have fence here so I wouldn't recommend doing that but yeah anyway so come inside and then obviously right here fill your floor in so fill this in. I don't feel like cutting this out, so I'm gonna make a bunch of. Oh my god, huh? What well, do you have an egg? You gonna build with the egg? Man, that is quirky. Okay, get back to building. <laughs> I wonder how many chickens I can get out. Okay, so once your floor is done, we can just go ahead and fill this in really quick because might as well. So this is where it gets kind of weird. Fill this in with oak wood, these like corners right here. Okay, so I believe, no, that's it, yes, okay. So once you fill all these corners in, break off like the corner right here, oh I didn't, okay. Break off like the corner pillar right here and then now take your oak logs and take them up until there's one block above the stairs. So like that and then come back down. Do it on all sides. I don't feel like cutting this out so I'm just gonna make a bunch of noises to entertain you guys. Ba 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 ba. Okay. Yeah. Okay so I lost my sense of direction. Okay yeah. So. From the front here, oh, I gotta move my stupid gum around. Okay. 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 So the front here, come to this side of the house, the very front, and then go to the very back. Break that one right there. That's gonna be your ladder to get up here. So now this is right here. You wanna put two stairs like this on the in. Oh, okay. On the inside like that and there we go and then now this is optional I honestly I wouldn't because there's really no need but you can start filling in the ceiling with slabs um, this is how that looks it looks kind of weird to me so I'm I didn't do that but if you're a fan of having things level then go ahead and do that but now this is your attic so it's up to you if you want to leave it blank or if you want to break these out and put okay fill that in yeah but yeah so you can break these out put stuff in them like chests or cartography table whatever all the new stuff is why didn't i okay yeah 
so break these out put them with whatever you want and now you have your little attic right here and before i leave this little hell hole up here where's the there it is put some lanterns in like the corners here directly across from each other so they're even or if you really want you can just line the whole damn ceiling with them that's a little too much though i would just leave those so yeah now we're done with the attic like i said put whatever you want in here um i just made this like the extreme like crafting floor i just put all the freaking uh crafting blocks like the cartography table the stone cutter the crafting table believe it or not um the furnace brewing stuff like all that garbage so that floor is done come down to here we're gonna go ahead and put two stairs there obviously get your doors you know i really wish there'd be like a bigger hot bar or something and i have an egg okay um i wish there'd be a bigger hot bar so i can just hold all the stuff i need but okay so right where are my glass beans okay so this side fill the whole thing with glass and then this side take a stair put that and then another stair oh that's not a stair and then another stair or you can do what i did and put a block and then stair i think that looks better so i'm gonna leave it at that so come inside right here if you want to put a block stair and then a block so block stair block that's not a what am i doing okay and then right here fill this thing in with glass okay and then this whole entire wall is completely closed off so blocks stairs and then more blocks done okay and then this side is the exact same as that side so just fill these in block 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 stair and then oak wood planks and okay and then build your uh window identical to the other side okay and then now uh this floor is done so theoretically you could fill it in with whatever you want um oh yeah i would recommend taking this out by one which i didn't do that in my original build but it make it a lot more convenient for the ladder because you can put a ladder here and then here can be some chests and then um, I'll go back over and show the interior of mine over there, but put the bed here, carpet right here, um, plant right there, um, armor stand right here, and then I did chests right here. So that yeah, that's um, that's my uh, that's my spiel on what to put inside of here. But yeah, so that floor is done. Take your stairs, bring these all the way around like that. Got your ladders. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and put the ladder in just because. No, there. Okay, so ladder right here, and then trap door. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Okay, trap door done. Now you can get up. So that's done. Close the door. Close that. Get out of here. Okay, this part's optional. I didn't do this on the other build because I felt like there was already enough, um, like roofage. Uh, so take your oak slabs out along here. And then you can take your fence and you can connect them right here like that. Now, the reason why I opted out for that is because not only will this not make sense, like why would you have a railing here if there's more floor right here that you can go out on. And if you were to build it out, honestly, this just looks weird. Like, I mean, here. So there's that I'm just gonna show you guys that that looks weird to me maybe not to some of you so y'all can do that if you want but I'm showing you how I built it and so there we go yeah anyways house is done that's it for the house oh yeah finishing touch on all these pillars right here put a slab on top and you're done yay okay <clears throat> and not to mention Along with the cobblestone wall, if you wanted to, you can put them on all these, but then that just looks like too much cobblestone wall. So I'm gonna leave it out. But on the where the cobblestone wall already is, below that, just continue it down. Here you won't want to because the 
the like the roof of the actual wall around the place comes through here so you don't need to uh same thing for here and then obviously here there is no cobblestone wall so that's done now we're gonna move on to basically the wall which is really really simple um so around the entire edge where we already placed the upside down stairs on top of all of those just put fence all the way around so i'm not going to show myself doing that because that's a lot of fence and that's a lot of boring so i'll just be right back okay so now that the fence is all the way around take your slabs and really quick um pretty much do the same thing uh, so on top of the fence start placing your slabs but at the same time take it out by one so then just do this all the way around the entire place which is kind of tedious and takes a little bit of time so oh yeah and then once you get to these i don't know honestly i don't know why i do some of the things that i do break those on the outside because they can't fit there um but yeah anyways just fill it fill it all the way in like this just all the way around and sorry if you can hear any background noise i'm trying to like talk as close to the mic as i can without um like busting your eardrums out but i'll try and tune it out as best i can anyways yeah take this all the way around which i'm pretty much all the way around at this point so i might as well just keep going i guess um once you get here don't go across here because that's like the um the opening for the the horse thing as you saw earlier so yeah once you get all the way around like this okay and then right here this is where this is also like the horse thing um right above here take the logs out by two and then on these logs put your stairs like this oh wait no 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 break those stairs on the edge right here put your stairs like this so stairs like that and then you can already tell what we're doing so take them up just like every other roof upside down upside down boom boom and then connect them right here and connect them like so and then you can also you can take this out on the inside as well so that way it doesn't just look like a flat face piece of garbage on the inside boom 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 now what you want to do where we had the logs go one up and put them there and now upside down stairs grab your door oh yeah put some logs across here so it doesn't look trashy doors boom done now you got your entrance just like that okay and then on the inside honestly i would take cobblestone wall and put it down right there okay now put oak slabs on top of these four right here skip these two or these four pillars and then on these four put oak slabs just like that so what we're gonna do is fill in all this right here with your oak slabs as such okay and then honestly yeah take them out by the two right here and then you could take them out right here as well um, I did that in my other one, but if you don't if you feel like it's cramped then don't do it um, And then do the exact same thing on this side. That's kind of why I built it this way. It was completely symmetrical So fill in this whole thing right here And boom 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 Okay That's done now right here You'll want to put your cobblestone wall and then in between here fill this in with logs and logs and then get some cobblestone wall right here okay now we can start building this little roof thing right here oh yeah don't forget about this guy right here boom okay so it's literally the same thing as that so it's not exactly that hard to understand so put stairs on top of all these logs just like that break this put stairs and then connect them in between connect these up now break these two turn those into stairs break these two and turn those into stairs you can see where this is going by now so turn those into stairs just go ahead and break all these stair stair that's wrong stair stair 
connect them all and done okay fix that come on this side fix these two make sure to fill these in with cobblestone wall as well okay obviously just i'm okay i'm gonna skip this because you guys aren't dumb you know what i'm doing so i'll be right back okay so as you can see this is obviously what i was doing so once you have this roof filled in right here come on the inside fix these dudes you know typical roof stuff fill all oh, okay fill all these in boom 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 okay now go into your redstone tab that you have in survival mode you know and grab your oak fence gate and put three high uh okay two four six put six gates make sure to fill this in with oak logs right there and right here oh, okay all right and then right here you can just put two gates so now let's pretend i have a invisible horse that i'm riding right so riding your horse about at this level you ride in stop right okay those are closed stop right here turn around close all these and then get off your horse open that and now your horse is sitting there and now you're inside the base safely and nothing else can get in see and if you're on a server you can lock these gates that way players can't just walk in right or you can just put down a protection block or whatever plugins your server has um oh yeah so this part's kind of weird i don't like the way that looks so i just kind of did that um but yeah so next step um i would say let's start with this one so go ahead and get your bookshelves which are not in this tab after eight years of playing minecraft you'd think i know that um yeah so across the top right here put those three bookshelves and then break these three like that and put bookshelves right here and then we're going to take this down by two blocks so break, break yeah break all these out of the way get out of the way and then obviously fill these in with bookshelves so that we have a full-size enchantment room and yes i know the red books are glowing i wish i had an answer to that question um i think it's just my shaders but yeah so anyways take these logs down boom 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 take this oak down like that and i'd say fill that in with oak grab your oak stair fill that in that's bothering me okay done done and then in here i did uh either diorite or andesite i would say diorite it's a i don't know personally it's a nice contrast in my opinion so you can just put whatever you want diorite's pretty easy to access so there you go um and actually right here since there's stairs right here i would definitely recommend getting chests and doing this oh take this down that's gonna kill my brain if i don't do that okay so there you go now you have a storage right here and if that little gap bothers you then just put slabs here or something like that i don't know but that see that bothers me so just put two double chests and under there it is put that in the middle done now you got a um a thingy here and then in the middle right here put a lantern and then right about where's the middle right there Drop a lantern. Now you got a little enchantment room right here. Nice and uh, cozy looking. Oh yeah, fence. Fill that in. Now you're done. Check this out. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that room is done. Now we're going to do the same thing here, except it's a farm, not an enchanting room. So, let me see how to explain this. So right here, take your oak logs straight across. Same thing here. And then fence along there and then here you're gonna have two gates so i'll just grab the gates okay gates open those close those now take these and if i can get these out take it two down boom boom like this and then so this part's kind of weird um let me fill i just need to fill in these oak logs before i go crazy 
So fill in these oak logs here, like so. Okay, that's that's all of them. Okay, break this out. I just need to make sure that's there. I need to ease my mind. Okay, so either thing you can do, I filled this in with oak planks, like this, just because it matches. It just it felt right. Um, but here, I did the same thing as before. I put chests. Um, God, I gotta get them out. So. I put four chests here so that way like when you have your animals down here you can have like a bunch of wheat or whatever whatever you need to like breed the animals so that way you don't gotta go get it all the way up in your room first and then come down here you know you just have your livestock stuff in here um fill this in with oak planks fill that in with oak planks boom boom okay now grab your ladders and right here put two ladders so now animals can't just get out because they don't they don't they don't jump right here they don't they don't know to jump anyways this is pretty much done take your lantern right there and then in the middle right here up oh, boom all right so livestock thing is done so what you would do is from either that side or oh yeah why why did i leave this open this isn't a okay don't mind this. Don't pretend like that didn't happen. That's closed off. Okay. Yeah. So either from here or that entrance, you would, you know, have your lead or your leash on a cow or a chicken or a pig, and you would walk them over here, open these up, jump down here. They would fall into here, take the leash off, climb up, done. Now they're in there. This is your little livestock pen. Okay. So this is all pretty much done. So, and then the farm. I don't think I need to show you guys how to do the farm. Um, I mean, you guys know how to do a farm, right? I mean, it's not, you just break out a row, every block, like this. Take, okay, fix, fix these. If you're gonna make a farm, please fix these. Okay, all right, that's all the logs. So, and, also, one thing you should do, I highly recommend, um, the rows that you put the water in, put sand at the bottom. I don't know why, but water on top of sand just eases my mind. If it's on top of dirt, it bothers me. I don't know. That just looks a lot better. See? It looks a lot better. Um, but yeah, so fill those in with water. Get your hoe, your diamond hoe. Go like this. Boom, 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 boom. You know, typical hoe stuff. Grab your buckets of water. Boom, boom, boom. Pull all your water in. Actually do the water beforehand, obviously, so that way your dirt isn't turning back into dirt. Okay. That's, okay, that's all good. And then just throw your seeds in here and then watch them grow like a chia pet. So then put lanterns in here lined up with the logs so it's symmetrical. And now you're done. Now you have light and your plants will grow. And one thing I would definitely recommend is get a bucket of tropical fish and set them in here. So now you got some fish in your farm and this looks really nice. Done. Farm is done. And another optional thing, either some slabs or oak stairs. So you have like a little entrance. I would definitely say slabs. That looks a lot better. Okay, that's done and uh, i wouldn't put slabs there okay that's done so your the entire build is pretty much done um one last thing uh get some spruce leaves or any kind of leaves that you want doesn't matter and then around here in front of all the um, stairs surround it with leaves like this it's honestly it has no purpose whatsoever which is kind of funny because if you like Dude, why are you putting that in the build if there's no purpose? Well, you know, sometimes builds aren't always just about purpose. They're about how they look, okay? So before you chew me out, just hear me out and put the leaves down. So it also will, you know, block the, um, block you from seeing the outside of the bookshelves. So that is kind of some nice clarity. And on the edge right here, cobblestone wall boom okay 
So really all that's left is the little mine and the campfire area. And to be honest, I'll show you how to do the fire pit and then like the campfire and stuff, but like everything else is kind of self-explanatory. You just get some bamboo or some bone meal or some flowers or some sand and water and some fish and just decorate how you like it. I'll, like I said, I'll go back to my original build over there and show you guys all the little details that I put into it. But anyways, so here, starting from this pillar, break these two, and then right here, put a pillar like that, and then put a slab on top. Break all of this out, along with all of this. And this, uh, this cobblestone wall right here, I would say break this one because you can it's not gonna it won't do anything if you keep it there but it's gonna look really weird so uh, yeah I would say keep that one break that one too because then it's impeding on your way to get in yeah break both of them or keep both of them up to you so right here two oak stairs like this and then these four are oak planks where are my oak planks where are my oak planks? Where is my, there we go. Put oak planks in here. And if you guys remember, I originally did um, stone brick stairs and like stone brick instead of oak planks, but I kind of realized if you're building this in survival, it's not gonna be very easy just to casually just manifest stone bricks out of your inventory. So I'm doing this one based on survival needs. Um, but yeah, so two stairs down and then four four planks one stair down and then four planks and then here go two stairs down and then four four, yeah, four planks so basically the pattern is so these four would be planks I'm not gonna go any deeper than that because it's just a pattern that you just continuously go down. So starting here between these two logs, two stairs, two stairs. So two sets of stairs and then four oak planks right here. One set of stairs, four oak planks, and then you just repeat. So two sets, four planks, and then one set, and then four planks. So then two sets of stairs, four planks, and then right here you would do one set of stairs and then four planks, two set of stairs, four planks, one set of stairs, four planks, two set of stairs, you know, it's just a pattern like that. And if you just keep following that, eventually you'll get deep enough to find diamonds or something, or you'll go into a cave. So then you have direct access to a cave right from the inside of your base. And yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the, the top here. So fix this log. Right here, this little area, I kind of designed this so that way before you like go down into your cave or your mining system or whatever, you have like a little storage thing so you can grab whatever you need before you go, like pickaxes or torches or whatever. So right here, upside down stairs, can fill in that pillar right there. And then also, okay, upside down stairs right there. That's a issue. There's some sand. Actually, perfect idea. Okay, we'll hold off for a minute on that. Oak logs, and will that nice? Okay, so break out those two. If you have glowstone, which you might not, um, then don't do this. If you have glowstone, or if you can go to a shop and get some, or you just have some, fill these in with glowstone. Grab chests. Boom, 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 boom. There you go, so you have a storage unit right there. And then right here, armor stand, right? Perfect idea. Now, this is sand, so quickly, boom. So now the background is sand, and where is the armor, it's in here. Okay, there it is. And armor stand, and now throw some armor on that dude. I'll just do iron for typical purposes. Um. Also in this build while I'm doing it, I'm gonna do some like small little like touches that I didn't do on the previous build. Oh yeah, and then um, here's the um, here's a little dilemma. This block right here, if 
fill it in with oak logs. So it's a two wide pillar like that. So two, two wide. And as you're going down, continue these two down if you want to, you don't have to, but I have like minor OCD. So if I don't do that, it's, I'm, I'm going to go crazy. But yeah, so continue that down as you keep making staircases that go down. And yeah, so right here, this is optional. I didn't do this, it's two stairs right there, it makes it look a lot easier to go in. And then also if you wanted to, you could place two doors right here. I didn't do this because now you have wood right here and it would highly bother me if I had pieces of wood right here and then it was just grass. So if I did this, I would need to make all of this. Oh God, where, where's some planks, planks. If I did that, I would need to make an oak path, like a plank pathway, like all the way to the door, like this. Which I didn't really want to do, because I didn't, I didn't really want an oak pathway, because there's already so much oak around me. It just looked out of place. So, I didn't do this. You can if you want to. Don't get me wrong, it looks fine. It just, it feels like too much oak to me. So completely optional if it looks better to you then do that if not then do what i did and just leave the grass here like that because um, i have optifine so i have the better grass on so like the grass blocks are covered in grass all the way around so it, it looks fine to me anyways so yeah and then obviously as you go fill in your walls with your um oak planks or something cheaper like cobblestone cobblestone is really easy to get so Fill in the walls like so and then as you continue to go down you can just keep filling in your walls so yeah see now you got a nice cool like staircase going down and then these would be stairs right here because this would be stairs right there okay but okay i'm getting distracted and then every time you go down put a lantern in the corner on every level and yeah so there we go that's the mine um, and if you wanted to put some fence here, optional, optional, but that looks really wonky and that bothers me. So I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, moving on. Okay, so really quick, I'll show you guys how I did the, um, the little like campfire area. Uh, Cause this is like kind of the last thing um, of this build. So this is the little campfire area that I did. Really simple, just got some leaves, you know three stairs as quote unquote seats. And so the, um, the bond, like the fire pit is just gravel. So three by three area of gravel, put the campfire in the middle and that's it. What, what are you doing here? And then put the three stairs as seats and that's it. And then obviously I just filled this in with water and I had fish, but they died. Um, sand, some sugar cane, sugar cane, leaves, typical stuff. See, this is what I did right here. Um, so that way, like, see, it just, it, it looks, it's kind of like a brown color. So the grass blends in with the oak. It looks kind of nice. And then along here, I did this as well. I made a pathway. And I, from this pillar right here, I had oak coming down, turned right here with this, and oak just went in. And I put a window there. I didn't do that in the actual build over there because I'm iffy about this window. It feels kind of weird, like it, that, cause there's a big window right there. So it throws me off. Over the past 10 minutes, you can see how like picky I am because of my like minor OCD. I, I swear to God, I've been talking to myself for the past 10 minutes about what I want to do and what I don't want to do because it looks kind of weird, you know? Anyways, this is how I did the fire pit area. And so here's my, um, my mine, two sets of stairs, four blocks, one set, four blocks, two sets, four blocks, one set, four blocks. And it just goes down, you know, gosh. Okay. Moving up horse area. Here's the thing there. More importantly, if you come inside, once again, this is the interior of the bedroom that I did. So right here, anvil, armor stand, two chests, crafting table and a furnace. And then that, as you can see, I put the ladder against the wall 
but it kind of, I don't know, throws me off. Two bookshelves, two beds, some carpet, nice touches, and the plants, and a fence. And that's this whole room done. Moving up, come to the top. What? Okay. So, stone, or what, grindstone, yeah. Grindstone, crafting table, stone cutter, blast furnace, cartography table. No, that, that's the smithing. No, that's the smithing table. That's the fletching table. Cauldron, cauldron, loom, cartography table. So two cauldrons and then two brewing stands. How's I put up here? Then some carpet and then obviously the lanterns, like I said, and then a villager. If you can kidnap one and put them up here, and that's it. We are done. That's uh, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, here's the, see. And then I, I just made the floor like a bunch of different materials, so it looks like a farm. And the farm over here is wheat. That's it. So the build is done and now you have this massive base to yourself. So um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I did the door differently here. I didn't have the roof over it, but it felt kind of like, it felt better having that roof there. That's why I included it in the build over here. If you don't want the roof, just make it flat just continue the slab straight across and that's all you gotta do but yeah anyways we are done so with that being said let me know what you guys think about the build um in the comments or if you want to like hack my email and just send me one let me, letting me know about it feel free to do that i guess um but yeah that's pretty much all i got for you guys and i'm still working on that um the 5k special video believe me it's i'm going all out for that video so it's not exactly easy and it's not quick to make but i'm working on it and it's gonna be really cool and i think you guys are gonna like it a lot so keep your eyes out for that because that'll be coming up somewhat soon i've got like a whole thing set up for it like cameras and stuff that are ready to go and i'm basically putting together like a small crew for like filming it's, it's gonna be cool it's gonna be really cool but yeah so keep your eyes out for that and uh, once again, let me know what you guys think about this and what you want to see next. And uh, with all that out of the way, I'm Genetics, and I'll see you guys in the next one.